Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Skippy, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button because the lovely people at turn 10 in the Forza Fon shop have added the 2018 KTM Expo GT4 Epic Car. Now I've heard and been told this thing is extremely grippy and actually quite fast and I believe it could be one of the top cars in the game one of the quickest one of the one of the best handling cars in the game so we're going to test that out i've already purchased it we'll hop on over to the upgrade shop chuck some upgrades on get it to the top of s1 because it's at 861 at the moment and we'll uh we'll chuck it around a race this thing looks pretty extreme it's almost batmobile-esque it's pretty cool though it's almost like a lotus evora with a crazy body kit like those headlights just remind me of an evora or a gumper apollo or something like that like this this looks mental okay stock this thing is running 326 horsepower with one engine mod pistons and compression we jumped to 400 horsepower with not a lot of weight 2328 pounds 15 grand well spent i think 400 horsepower it's gonna be crazy I've also seen you can do some pretty crazy things with the paint. So if we go advanced, paint group one, I go to the back, it's gonna split it in, yes. <laughs> That's quite cool. We're gonna do that, let's go white. And then paint group two, I reckon we go orange. Sort of that KTM orange that they've got on the front. It's more of that, isn't it? That looks pretty cool. Actually, we'll go there because it's just more of an orange than a washed out orange. Uh, was there another one? No. Bonnet. What can we do to the bonnet? Number one. Okay. So we can make it favour that side rather than the other. Or should we go black? And then it makes that more even. Or we go carbon. Changed my mind quite a lot here. Let's go carbon gloss. Uh, carbon polished. Carbon polished, not carbon. What am I saying? Okay, carbon polished. We'll do that so it matches the roof a little bit, even though it's glass. But hey, hey. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. We'll get some carbon on the wheels. Make the inner barrel the same orange. Not that you can see it. And we will do the outer lip the same orange as well. Wait, did I do the wrong orange on the... You can't really see it, so it's not really going to matter, is it? So let's be honest. Can't tint the windows. Apparently, they can't be tinted. That's fine. I wish we could change the blue in the centre of the wheels. But then we've got blue pipe there, I suppose. But that is looking cool. Now, let's go test this on a racy track. This thing is under extreme track toys. I've come to Princess Street Garden Circuit. It's quite a twisty track. Some closed street racing. Should be pretty good. KTM looking sexual in orange and white. And I think the game's frozen. Nope, we're good. Sporting the pumpkin head. That is very futuristic. Sort of. It's not really. I'm hoping we're up against similar cars, I'm gonna be honest. Dodge Viper, really? We've got the Drift Viper. Is that they drift they're all drift cars. And why are we against drift cars? There's one Expo GT4 there. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Because those drift cars have got stupid power. Here we go, three laps in the KTM. Haven't driven this yet. Good start. Not a lot of wheel spin. Oh my god, it's responsive. Sticks to the road like glue, making easy work of those drift cars. Single turbo, 400 horsepower. Got a bump. A slide, but that's okay. Let's catch those TVRs. Oops. 
Oh, I'm going to have to rewind because I can't drive with a smash windscreen. Okay, I can take the piss with this car a lot more than I am. Yes, I can. If I get in front of these guys, happy sailing. They're going to have the legs. I'll break them. Oh my god, they're breaking way before I have to. Right here, he's going to break. I don't really have to break. I can nip up his inside. Job is done. This could potentially be one of the quickest cars in the game. Purely because of its handling. Look how flat that is. So good. Second gear, punching out the corner. Not even feathering the throttle, really. No brakes till the last minute. A little bit wide, but still, it was good. I'm going to break there. That was... Oh, okay, I'm a little bit in love. It looks cool. It drives extremely well. I mean, it is sort of a... Well, it's an extreme track toy, isn't it? So... Break. Let's go for a quick lap. I've done a 132 some odd around this in a La Ferrari. There's a 1,000 horsepower hypercar. Go on, Caterham, in, go, punch it, run away! Man, it's quick. Maybe not top speed quick, but it's carrying those speeds through these corners if I wasn't taking liberties like that. Well, we're all right. I'm not going to break. I'm not going to break. Damn, that's quick. Okay, I think it was a 132, because that's just done a 51. That is insane. I'm going to double check that at some point. This speed zone here, Royal Terrace, I've done 112 miles per hour. I want to see if I can beat that in the KTM, because it's that hairpin there that I found tricky in whatever car I did that in. I can't remember. But I reckon it could do it. I reckon it can do better. 112 to beat. A little bit off the throttle there. Just corners really well. Okay, we're doing well now. Third gear, 112 to beat. Come on. It's not gonna. Why not? I wonder if it could get quicker the other way. Sorry, buddy. Maybe it's just the acceleration is not brilliant out of the corner. Okay. That wasn't brilliant. No, don't go off there. Okay, we can't break that barrier. That's good. 112 to beat. Can we do it? We are beating it now, but... Yeah, it's literally the speed around that corner. It just can't hold it. I reckon if I up the downforce... Could do it. 98. Good at racing, though. And I love the paint job. 400 horsepower is perfect for it. Slightly wider tyres. Do hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. And I will hopefully... See you in the next one.